Okay, guys. Shay here. This is a tutorial for YouTube editor on how to put clips together and other things for Angela and anyone else that may need help with this. Okay, I do not know how long this is going to be. My laptop is slow for one thing and I am long-winded myself. Okay, I hope y'all can see this good. I've got it pointed at my screen. I'm behind my camera. It's sitting on my desk. The lower part pulled out. And I'm on YouTube. Now, I'm not on my channel. I'm just on the YouTube page. So, we have upload up here. I already have my video from my camera card onto my laptop. I'm sure y'all know how to do that. I didn't want to record that part. So we go to upload and this is what I do. I hope y'all are seeing the little button up there that says upload. Alright, now like I said, my laptop is slow. So it gets here and I always, and you know what I did? Okay, I know what I'll do. I'll put the welcome thing in front of it. From, bleh, in front of it too. Sorry. I just realized this is about piece and clips. I only made one clip, so I'll do the welcome thing in front of it. Okay, I always put mine on private. This is how I learned to do it, and I learned it by watching a video. Auntie Bernie, I think. I hope I'm not wrong. There's two ladies there with different names that I get kind of confused. Uh, one of them might have done it, and the other one didn't, and I probably get it wrong. Anyway, private and you click the arrow private arrow okay this is my file with my videos and on my laptop I have some over here I have the tour all over here then I have Monday's vlog, Tuesday's vlog, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday's vlog then I have my challenges that I'm gonna join I have the parade ones right there uh, so I just put this one over here tut for tutorial YouTube editor Okay, so click on that. It's that last one right there. Come down to open. And then it pulls this up. Okay, at this point, I just stop and don't do anything else. I just let it go. We've got four minutes. Okay. I usually go check email in my email. Or while I'm waiting on that, you know. And as of right now, there's nothing. This is a letter from my mom. Hey, mama, I done read your letter, but I'm going to answer it later when I get my vlog up, so I can send it to you. Um, or I will go pull my shows up and watch them, which I'm not ready to do that yet. So I guess we'll just wait. I didn't think about this part. Well, my camera's falling. That's going to be a problem, too. So what I may do is just stop. That's what I'll do. I'll stop. And when this gets through, I'll come back to it. That way it won't be so very long, okay? So toodaloo until this gets loaded up and I come back. Okay, guys, we are back. So it has loaded up. Tut YouTube Editor. And as you know, when it gets through, or I guess you know, it'll say, um, you know, that it's done to click... Uh, done over here to whatever I done forgot just exactly the words I guess I should have turned my camera on and showed me doing that but I clicked it so it's like this now sometimes it'll show the picture and sometimes it's that little wheel is still going and it won't show the picture but what I do if I have more clips I'll go back to upload and then I will go back to this and put it back on private again and click this to go back into my files and get all my clips that I need for my video and do the same thing and wait till they load up okay now I don't have any more clips because it's just that one I do have the welcome I'm going to uh, put on the front of it which I do to all my vlogs now but it's already in the YouTube file of videos so I'll show you how I'll, I do that so I do click on upload and go to this page, but I leave this at this point on public and I click down here video editor. 
Okay, now it comes to this page. Okay, Angela, watch closely because this is where you start putting your uh, videos together. I don't know if you ever get this far and do this. At first, I wasn't going here and doing this at all. I was just uploading it, and while it would upload, I would go ahead and write the name in it and put my tag words in there, you know. So, when you get here, it shows right here all of your videos that you have, okay? So, this is the one I just uploaded, the Tutorial YouTube Editor. But, I am going to scroll down to go to my welcome one which is further down here. It is right here. So, what you do, you see how it looks like this with the little star thing? You hold down your left mouse button and then you drag. So I'm dragging it and right here where it says drag videos here, you put it here in that little box. Okay? Now we're going to pause it because just the sound of it bugs me and irritates me. I can't deal with that while I'm working over here and doing this. Alright, now over here, this is where it gets to where there's all kind of little things you can do. I don't use all of them, but we're in the quick fixes section. It has auto fix. It has brightness and contrast. The settings here to do all that. I do not understand all that. I don't mess with all that. A lot of y'all might, and Angela, you even might, so if you do, by all means, do that part of it. It has slow motion here, like when you want to do your slow motion thing. I've not figured that out either. Mine speeds up instead of slow motion. I've tried it before. We have pan and zoom over here and stabilize video. I don't mess with any of that because I don't understand it all. They even have one right here that says preview effects side by side with original video. I don't know what that's about. So maybe once when somebody watches this and sees what all I don't know, maybe I'll make a video showing me how to use all this stuff then. Okay, you also have one here that you can click on that says filters. Okay, I don't know what all this is, so I never go here. I'm seeing a bunch of pictures here all balloons but they kind of look different in different colors I don't know what all that's about then you have text now I have done this before you can set your font your bold or italic the size of it the color of it where you want it aligned at you know on the left the right or in the middle you can do all of this your banner color your banner height your banner however you say that word and then this is where you would start typing at. See, I'm just going to do this real quick to show you and then I'm going to back it up and get rid of that and of course it starts the video so now I'm going to go pause it again. So, I, I have done this but I don't mess with it very much. It's just to me a little bit too much and complicated to do so I don't worry about that. Then we have the auto up here. I do go here. Angela, if you do not mind, no offense, but listen closely here, my dear. If you say something to me in your videos or ask me something and I never reply back to you on it, it is because I did not hear you well. I'm sorry, but there's a lot of videos out there that I don't hear what you're saying well. I used to have that problem. I used to have people tell me I can't hear what you're saying. I got in here once I found this and realized what I could do I started doing it and now I hope that it helps make my videos louder and I kind of wish everybody else out there would do that too <laughs> no offense but I would like to hear what y'all are saying so if you click on audio I go here to volume so you cut that thing all the way up please Angela <laughs> And anybody else and then I pause my video and everything you do your video starts playing again so I always go pause it then you have pan uh, bass or bass whatever you call that treble I don't understand what all that is so I don't mess with any of that some y'all might Angela you might even so you might can figure that out but please remember the volume <laughs> all right but once I do the volume like I said I don't mess with any of the other stuff once I go to volume and turn that up, then you just go to this X over here, 
and I click off of that. Okay, it brings you back to this. Pause the video. Okay, so now I have that one up. Okay, that's one clip right here. Alright, now I gotta scroll this back up the top. Here's the tutorial YouTube editor video that I, video I made for this. So I'm getting it. I'm dragging it down. I put it right here in the next clip. See, that was two different little clips. And it starts the video again. I gotta pause it. So I put both the little clips side by side. Again, for each clip, I go to audio, and I turn that volume all the way up. Then click that off. Pause that video. So now they're together. Okay. If you want to go further, now for this, and I forgot to do that. I need to do that here because that's something I always do. I don't do much of this either because it's a little too much and a little complicated for me to deal with and go through all the time every time. <laughs> I have to for this one that I put now in front of all my videos because as you know, I'll turn it on here for a minute. When I set my camera up and cut it on, you see me going in the house and closing the door. Then I start my little welcome thing. So I actually cut it off. I go to uh I go to two. Where is that at? Right there. I'm, I'm watching the numbers. And then I'll watch because in the window I can see my shadow when I'm starting to come to the door. When I see that I hit those little scissors and that cut that first part off. So then you just click that little X right there and get rid of that. And then it starts where I cut it off at. Me coming to the window, then the door. Okay, I also cut off at the end back here. About there, not long after I close the door. So that's the last part of that one, the welcome clip. I, take it off and so now I have the right little clip of what I want in my vlog on that first thing so you can do each one you can click on this and let it start playing okay, guys, it I am making this video clip you can so put it and cut it to cut things out you don't want in there like I said I don't mess with that too much but I do a little bit of it. Shims two three. So her how to piece clip. Y'all can do that as much as you want to. But after you get all your clips like that together, if you have more, just continue to go back and get them and put them in there like I just showed y'all. Um, so then when I'm through, I pause it and I make sure, you know, I just look at it again, like through here, make sure I've got all the clips I want together. I notice how long the whole thing is. This, These two is two minutes and five seconds long. This is just something I do. Everybody don't have to do that. Then you come up here to the little blue button and you click create video. So it does this and you will see this video is private. Sorry about that. It's because I've got it on private. You keep it on private until it gets through. It is processing it's forming those two clips together into one video it will take a while you can either leave this up to watch it or to hit refresh every once in a while I do that sometimes or you can just um, click off of it and come back to it later into YouTube so at this point I'm going to turn this off and I after that uploads I will be back to show you what I do at that point from there on out so toodaloo until then okay guys we are back uh, I am in the video manager of YouTube the only way I know how to get there y'all may know other ways I get on YouTube and then I actually get on my channel page the way y'all get onto it, you know, my subscribers, the way they see it. And then at the top of that page over here, along here, it says Video Manager, and I click on that, so it brings me to this. Okay, it's showing a picture. 
It says my edited video March the 7th 2015 at 4:51 p.m. That's the one I just did uh, showing y'all how to do and put together. So what I do from here is I go here and then I click on the little button that says edit. Because it's, you know, as of right then, it was locked. Y'all seen the little lock that was locked because it's on private. Nobody else can see it right now. So I go here, and it gives you three pictures. And it has custom thumbnails. Somehow you can go in there and you can customize and make your own picture. I don't know how to do that yet. Some of y'all may know how to do that, but I don't. So I just usually pick one that is showing here. Okay, well, it's showing my laptop on in two different ones. It's on the middle one, which is my craft book table. I'll leave it on that one. So then I scroll down and right here where you put the name of it, I put the name of it. Okay. And I'm just going to name this Tut, which is short for tutorial. I've seen other people do that. YouTube editor and that's all I am going to say I guess for the name of it then down here on the bottom it says YouTube editor I always take well that's actually what you would want in it so I'm gonna leave that in it and I'm gonna put tut because you put this is your tag words that you put in that helps people when they search if they put that word in, it should bring you to your thing. And I may not be very good at that. I try to be. But I'm not really sure. And that is not how I want that. Yeah, just that word. Okay. Then, you just come here and you put it on public then. And then you hit... The big blue button publish and that's all it does there so then what I do all of y'all I have my certain you know everybody has their own certain little cheeky little ways they do and go about things so I'll go back to my channel since it's you know I clicked up here and clicked on my channel it's the only way see there's video manager right there it's the only way I know how to get the video manager so I go to video manager again to, and like I said, my computer's slow, to look at that picture again, that video, see that it's unlocked, you know, make sure it is. See how that one is still locked? And it's named and all that. So then, under it, the clips, however many clips I had put together to make that one, I delete just those clips out because I think, even though they're probably, yeah, it's locked and they're still on private, Y'all may see them, you may not, I'm not sure, but I always go back in there and delete them. So, you click the little arrow and go down to delete and then say yes. And that deletes that one out. But the, the, the whole one video with it all together is there. Now my welcome thing that I hooked onto it, you know, is way down here. And I'm not going to delete it. Because I keep adding it to the beginning of all my videos now, right there. And it stays locked private. Alright, so that's what I do. So then, scroll back up to the top. Then I go back here again, up here, to go back to my channel, to go to my video page, just to see it there you know and make sure it's there and named and showing a good picture and you know it's unlocked where people can get to it and watch it so there it is right there so that's what and how I load my videos and piece my clips together and Angela turn the volume up so I can hear you good <laughs> my dear I don't mean to I know that you have talked to me before on your videos I've heard you even say my name but then after that I can't hear what you're saying. So, you know, if I've not commented or answered you on anything, it's not that I'm ignoring you. It's because I can't hear you good. Please turn your volume up. <laughs>
Alright guys, I hope this was a good tutorial. I hope y'all it helped you and Angela, I hope it helps you and anybody out there that watches it. Alright, so that is all. I am done. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Toodaloo.